Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac uh, after Boyth, after Boyth. I don't know if I'm ready for a Lost Greed Mode run yet. One day that day will come, but that day is not today. I can't believe we have no Mega Satan unlocks as well. I, can, I guess I can believe it. Let's do a Greed Mode run. And we'll do a Greed Mode random run. We, I don't think we've done that, we haven't rolled dice that considerably yet. It's gonna be a uh, Lazarus Greed Mode run. We can make this work. Um, we still need to do like Mega Satan with everybody, but that'll be my next priority. This is a tough one. What would you do here? I don't know why it sounded like an after school special or something. What would you do here? I'd say no and then walk away. This is uh, an anti-drug PSA that I've concocted in my own head. By the way, you might be saying, NL, this is the worst damage I've ever seen you take. It's, this is intentional. I want to die as soon as possible uh, and then be reborn as better Lazarus, which is where we're at right now. Now, do you take the pacifier or do you take the box? I think we take the box. We also take the pill, which is perks, which would have been awesome if we used it in a different context, but in this context, not that awesome. Um, so we got Rosary Bead, as far as trinkets go, two keys. Uh, that allowed us to get our Cancer uh, item a little quicker here. We also got question mark, question mark, question mark there. With five cents, what do we want to do here? Uh, probably save up for Jesus Juice, honestly. This is a pretty good start. Now, I know people are going to be like, what is wrong with you? Why wouldn't you take Pacifier? Well, I was thinking that, oh, that was terrible damage, but I was thinking in Greed Mode, um, it's more advantageous for us to have access to those consumables and maybe even the little bit of extra money early uh, than it is to just have the Spirit Hearts from Pacifier, Spirit Heart from Pacifier, but it may actually have some statistical benefit that I just completely forgot about. If so, well, you know, requisite Northern Lion's an idiot. I'm still not completely familiar with all the items in the game yet. The one thing I will say for sure is that I feel like, um, we, oh, lord, that was bad damage, okay. Suit up here. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. People are always saying suit up, and I'm like, what suit? Diamonds, hearts, spades? I'm fucking with you. I have seen like two seasons of How I Met Your Mother. Um, but, uh, oh, oh, I took some more dumb damage. Um, I, I do think that the, there's no wrong answer in that room. There is a less right answer. You know, these professors are always like, pick the most right answer, blah, 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 blah. We have selected perhaps the lesser of the right answers. We've also taken a staggering amount of dumb damage. I think, like, I play Isaac at my worst when it's the first floor of greed mode consistently. I just, like, completely fudge it up over and over. Let's take, um, Jesus Juice. I think I would absolutely love to take uh, Liberty Cap as well. That's not Liberty Cap, that's Blue Cap. Almost got hit there. Do we have a bomb for sale? We do not. Okay. I think that pretty much single-handedly as a result of us being able to guarantee ourselves deals with the devil uh, in greed mode, the uh, red playing cards have so much less use. Admittedly, you could fight one less boss, I guess, but uh, like to get the deal with the devil, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, why would we bother buying that. We could double our keys, probably not relevant, but could be. We could get a rules card, completely irrelevant. There, there's a lot of things that could go wrong there. We can get a Suicide King card, which maybe one day could be great for us, but not today. Not today. This guy's not gonna create any more spiders, as long as there's three on the screen already, right? All we need to do is, oh my god, what is the freaking Kamehameha homing in from, uh, you know, 500 miles away there? Incredible performance. Uh, if we focus on him, we won't have to deal with as much riffraff, but it's going to take us a little while to get there. There we go. That's the good stuff. And while he's walking around, he's not going to shoot at us as readily. He needs his head to do that. He is now dead. Thank you to um, Anemia, I guess. Come on. Come on. We will buy uh, the blue cap quickly. And you know what? We'll buy a three cent key as well, because... We're not going to be able to get keys on the cheap later, probably. For some reason, we have extra HP now. Did I miss how that happened? Where did this extra HP come from? Oh, blue cap, obviously. Maybe the item you just bought, you freaking nincompoop. I don't know what that insult is, but we need to bring it back. You know, we're only five years away from it being the 20s again. I'm, I'm ready for a resurgence of 1920s cultures. Uh, not culture, I guess. I want to, um, you know, go hang out with the flappers of the speakeasy. I want all alcohol to be illegal. I want, um, a lot of jingoism as a result of the recent victory in the First World War. I'm being sarcastic, obviously. Two AWAS runes. Well, what a, what a great day to be alive. Um, 
I'm thinking we take our second AWAS rune down. We can pop that inside of our deal with the Devil Room to save ourselves a little bit of damage if we don't like um, what's in there. Tech point five is good. We won't do it until the end of the end of the floor though. And a uh, regular HP upgrade is fine. Tech point five is the the all star here, but either way, not gonna complain. Range downgrade relatively minor, um, given the the reward potential that we face there. So. Not too displeased over a range downgrade. Now, let's try not to completely fuck this floor up. I've been fucking the, the floor up here. The last floor was terrible. God awful performance. We could easily have more spirit hearts now. The good news is, we've done this many times in greed mode, and, and still oftentimes we've come away with a win. So, uh, it's not like we've we've doomed ourselves to failure. But I have I've doomed myself to a trickier start than I I had to be faced with at least. Tech point five's unlimited range basically helping me out an enormous deal here. That was terrible damage, but we can heal a little bit more easily, I suppose, now that we're not dealing with um, spirit hearts exclusively. And this is our final wave. We basically have piercing shots and creep. If you're gonna get hit, I guess you wanna do it early. You know what, I think I'm not going to, um... oh, perks is fine. I think I'm not gonna leave yet. Simply because we still have the creep. Like, we have a, we have a tier effect or a, a status effect, I guess, to be more accurate, that actually is persistent for the entire room. And this has been kind of one of the big eye-openers for me And what's what's different in greed mode is the, uh, the fact that if you get a status effect for a room, it's oftentimes better to just not leave and just exploit it. Like, the fact that we can get a anemic for this whole room, I think, is way more advantageous, even though we just fought a flying enemy. Um, is in two flying enemies is way more advantageous than leaving and picking up like a tears upgrade right away especially if we're gonna get that tears upgrade later anyway so super easy and then our final fight is an enemy who will go down and pop up so if we could snag a little bit of extra damage as a result of bloody it's not bloody lust but it looks so similar should we call it like bloody legs or something like that look I'll go back to the drawing board on that one um, we get nothing of value from our deal with the devil, except the golden, uh, the golden, uh, heart there could actually be semi-valuable, but not yet. Lovely. A great use of our time there. Um, you know what? Let's take tech two as well. Are you crazy, NL? Are you out of your mind? Uh, I, I think having double laser tears is gonna be good for us here. I don't think that... Nun's Habit is that valuable, uh, unfortunately. I'm pretty stoked about that uh, Eternal Heart, though. So Tech Point 5 is gonna be a damage downgrade, but I think because we have Tech... Uh, sorry, not Tech Point 5. Tech 2 is gonna be a damage downgrade. But I think because we have uh, Tech Point 5, I know this is becoming a very confusing sentence now, I think this is uh, an acceptable pickup so that we can kind of, like, get infinite range, even if our damage does suffer a little bit for a while as a result. Mom's Poils. Luck upgrade is the big one there. Uh, let's check this out quickly. Car battery. I mean, car battery, if we can get something to actually work with it, is great. Right now, we don't have that as an option. Uh, I would love HP. And I think we're, we're kind of at the point where we have to buy something in order to start recycling these items a little bit. Again, expect us to be a little slow here. And chat's like, I always do, bud. I always do, but no, in all sincerity, not speaking about my own uh, intelligence or lack of mental acuity, um, our damage will suffer for a while. The idea is that in the future, well that was uh, bad, we'll be in flying cars and take all of our meals in pill form, yet they'll be 100% nutritive relative to our daily requirements of vitamins and minerals, um, but also we'll get tier effects that'll compensate a little bit for our uh, the damage downgrade that tech too has basically doomed us to. That was piss poor damage on my part. I am a little surprised and definitely disappointed that these enemies are not dying in like one cycle of their attacks. Like that's a considerable issue for me here. We'll stick with it because we've been hit. But uh, again, I think we'll be able to stack up more damage to make it more or less irrelevant in the future. Hopefully more irrelevant. And the damage we took there is also embarrassing, but we'll just try to move past it. <laughs> I know in Tech 2 you can actually shoot your tears again as well, but uh, you, you tend to play a little bit more defensive with Tech 2. You know, keep yourself on the other side of the map, and as a result, um, you know, you're, you're oftentimes not in a position to really consistently be hitting enemies with your tears. 
I also feel like we could really use a speed upgrade. He's gonna jump, man. He is not gonna jump, man. The original name for Mario. Okay. Well, that's even better for me, to be honest with you. We're like two-thirds of the way through this. I'm trying to land my tears on him because that's where a lot of my damage comes from. Somewhat embarrassingly. But if we can just keep Cage going in a straight line here, this is like the best time we've ever fought him. Uh, deal with the devil time. Well, after we finish the fight against Bloat, which uh, took me a little bit by surprise there. That's what we're looking for right there. Keep him in our line of sight. The creep is unlikely to stretch this far back. We can put our own little creep down on the floor here. No bombs. Try to goad him into a jump here, because, you know, it's awesome that Tech Point 5 lets you shoot along a line of sight, but it's also real shitty uh, when you're fighting an enemy who has their own line of sight that matches up with that. We can hit him occasionally. Come on. That is the, the hitbox of those eyes. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised that we got hit there. I'm a little surprised we didn't get hit there until the very end. Just finish him off! Okay, good, good, good. Deal with the devil with a good item. Deal with the angel with a good item. It's good-ish. Blood of the Martyr. Let's take uh, HP. I'll take Skinny Odd Mushroom. Another damage downgrade, which is a little dangerous. Um... I shouldn't have... Ah, uh, maybe I should have taken that. We got we got decent hearts out of it. Uh, and moreover, it's another tiers upgrade. I thought it was just range and luck at first. Speed is important here. Hematomesis uh, did better than breaking even. Infested gave us a spider. It was probably worth it overall. Um, let's let's head down here. I think the, the damage downgrades are bad, but we got a really, really disproportionate tiers upgrade. So hopefully our DPS has gone way up. And Squeezy will kind of contribute to that as well. I'm hoping for like some tiers up... Uh, not tiers up, sorry. Tier effect items though. And as of right now, we find ourselves, like, completely bereft of them. Let's keep in mind, we did also pick up, um... Blood of the Martyr, which, while not, like, the most absurdly overpowered damage upgrade in the game, is is a damage upgrade that's in the game. I can't believe that somehow I've managed to keep, uh, the, the hordes at bay here. That was H-O-R-D-E-S. Don't want to find myself in the same scandal as a... Saskatchewanian? What do you call someone from Saskatchewan? I should know this as a Canadian. I don't want to find myself in the same uh, media kerfuffle as that Saskatchewanian um, politician. Saskatchewanian? I'm actually not like I'm. I'm not mining this just for humor. I'd like to know. Saskatchewan? Is it a Saskatchewan? I mean, I'm one to talk. We call ourselves Vancouverites. Which is a little bit, you know, highfalutin in and of itself, but what is, are you a, I bet you're a Saskatchewaner. I know that sounds confusing, but this is a problem I've never even thought to consider as a Canadian, and now I find myself, uh, you know, help, trying to help uh, Saskatchewan rights. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't hit this yet. Let's go in here. Um, Mom's key, if we're going to buy a key for seven cents, or for five cents, we might as well buy one for... Or might, might as well buy two for seven cents, is what I'm trying to say. Brain is completely broken. Um, we will re-roll in advance here. And yes, I will take a trinket as well as a uh, an HP upgrade on the cheap. We got Jar of Flies, which is an incredibly good spacebar item. And it still vindicates me for not taking Nun's Habit, I might add. Uh, I thought there was a golden chest in here. Was there not a golden chest in here? Is my brain so broken that I I perceived a non-existent golden chest to ex- Oh, good. Well, a speed upgrade is awesome, but the health downgrade is a little bit disappointing considering we just spent seven cents on Cracker Jack, but... Uh, I haven't uh, said that sentence since I used to go to old uh, Brooklyn Dodgers games back in the 1920s with the whole flappers and the legal prohibition. Legal prohibition? It doesn't really make sense. Okay, this run is going completely off the rails. Let's just be honest about how that looks right now. Hopefully we actually get a good deal with the angel or a, a deal with the devil that allows us to get precedent. 
Because as of right now, there's nothing worse than in greed mode, your first deal with the devil is bad, and you're just like, oh, that's what my life is going to be like for now, is just non-stop deals with the angel that may or may not be good. Blood of the Martyr is is an okay haul from a deal with the angel, but it's certainly, you know, on, on the list of hauls, it's like Hall Pass starring Owen Wilson. It's no Anthony Michael Hall, that's for sure. Now, I did summon some flies to help us out of our our bind here. If I wanted something to help us out of our brine, I'd get a jar of pickles, am I right? With the, they don't, it doesn't really make logical sense, but pickles are encased in a brine, submerged in it, molded by it. You didn't discover the Polsky Agorki until I was already a man. Something, something. Okay. Polsky Agorki is a very uh, popular kind of dill pickle, if you will. And you will. Okay, let's see. Deal with the devil. Holy Christ, we can actually get uh, precedent, even if black powder is not necessarily a superb item. Let's not talk about that damage. Rosary bead. I still think red patch is better. I'm gonna pay one cent, and we did get a reroll. This reroll allowed us to get the D4, which basically means it's on. This is a super rerollable run. Now we have. Uh, we're unbelievably slow. But we have uh, Dr. Fetus. Oh, we also apparently have like Fruitcake or Tiny Planet. Yeah, this would this would be a nice reroll if we could get it. Uh, you know what? Let's just place this. Oh, we got Nod Leaf though. We can't buy anything here anyway. I don't know why I'm so excited for the opportunity to do this. This is tough, man. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, I do want to buy, like, the 9 volts. I would settle for just a battery charge. I think that would get our secret room if it were there, which is what I'm checking for right now. Well, we can stomp, obviously. And we got a uh, crawl space, which is not a crawl space. It's a black market. This is a weird one. Uh, Step on these bad boys. That, that did nothing for us. Money, though. Yeah, money. We turned... Nod Leaf Midas Touch? Nod Leaf Midas Touch. We can't re-roll this run. Nod Leaf Midas Touch. Nod Leaf Midas Touch. Yeah, we, we can't re-roll this. At the same time, we have to. I mean, we, have, we might have Turdy Touch. Nod Leaf Midas Touch. We got to roll with this, even though it seems terrible, but also awesome because we're creating golden poops that we then stomp on for unlimited money. Okay, yeah, no, you know, I think I've come around on this one. <laughs> I think we stand still, let the enemies walk into us and turn themselves into golden poop, and then just win easily? Parasite, I don't know. Um, range up, also, I don't know, but maybe it's a... Oh, we've transformed into mom now, which is great with Nod Leaf, actually. Okay, shouldn't have done that. Learn my lesson. Come get a taste. Oh, it's beautiful. Why on earth would I mess with this incredible arrangement at this point? Well, maybe to shoot this guy because he's going to be annoying otherwise, but... Oh, it's so beautiful. What would you say if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Tip your waitresses. Lend me your ear and I'll sing you a tune. And I'll try not to sing out a key, but it's kind of in character for me. And also, for some reason, I lack the structures within my brain to make me sing on key. And people make fun of me for it on a regular basis, but it's actually uh, debilitating in its own unique social way. I get by with a little help from my friends. I'd get literally infinite money with a little help from my friends. It's quite a good arrangement. A little help from my friend. Okay, we'll, we'll take this. We'll go back to unlimited money. We'll buy a cube of meat because we have unlimited money. I'm saying we get hive mind because of the whole unlimited money thing. Probably torn photo, uh, mostly on account of the whole unlimited money situation. Probably get unlimited money here. Um, might as well take a speed upgrade if we've got unlimited money. Maybe we'll take mini mush if we have like unlimited money. There's our mushroom transformation. Oh yeah, two of spades, two extra keys to 
with which to use with our unlimited money. Um, so we should have a pretty good chance to donate a lot of money here. Uh, that's, that's the repeating phrase in case you haven't noticed. This is like our ideal curse room at this point. I don't mind it one bit. What are we on? We're on Shoal, which means we have like two more floors before we have to worry. Uh, I don't want either of these items, but we might as well buy something because we're going to get more than enough money to get like everything we want on the next floor as well. So it's like, why not go relatively for broke here? And then we kind of just sit here. Like enemies that walk into us will generate flies. Enemies that our flies kill won't generate flies, but we generate enough enough flies that is to generate our own flies uh, this is a very confusing sentence i'm trying to parse together here but i i hope you understand where i'm coming from which is basically an enemy all, all they have to do to get a lot of fly summon is walk into us and then we summon enough flies that we never have to worry about anything ever again um so we're in like this awesome equilibrium where really like nothing could possibly go wrong this is why you d4 and i, I hate to be a broken record about it because it makes me sound kind of like pompous but um not, not every run is appropriate for the D4, but if you have to ask, then it probably is. Is my philosophy on it, at least. Cuba Meat is actually, and not to mention the mom transformation, but Cuba Meat's helping me out a ton here. Because uh, anything that rotates and does damage uh, while we're in our Nod Leaf state is going to be very useful. Okay, down to the next floor. Yeah, come get a taste, see if I care. Free money. Apparently we got Little Brimstone now. Maybe we have like KB in Conception, or maybe we re-rolled into it and I just never noticed, but... Wheel of Fortune, why not, man? Uh, this should be an easy win. All we should do is make sure that we have 99 cents to finish this run with. Because there's no reason not to. No good reason, at least. Um, yeah. Well worth the investment, I think. Um, pretty soon we're going to stop spending money. I don't think we're going to be shy of 99 cents, but like... Kind of like, why risk it, right? We don't need the caffeine pill. We don't need spider mod. Let's finish this off. So largely, prepare to do a lot of time standing still. I'll throw in the occasional bomb. Obviously something like Pyro would be just like, I'd be over the moon about it. At the same time, if we don't uh, if we don't need to mess around with the enemies, uh, why bother messing around with the enemies? Let them jump on us and create unlimited money that we could use, you know, at our own leisure. See, just like getting some bombs out here with like scatter bombs, or that actually might be the parasite now that's shooting out those scatter the extra scatter bombs. But uh, getting a little bit of extra firepower out of this is helping us out a great deal. There you go. There's like twenty cents. Not 20 cents, sorry. 20 flies that are now out there that didn't exist before. We've gotten 44 cents for just standing here. But the first bombs are not doing their jobs. But the ones that come after are sort of. <laughs> sort of doing their jobs. Alright, what's our cash situation like? We will hit 99 cents uh, by the end of this. We can just completely stand still against... Uh, well, against everybody, but in particular against Ultra Greed. We killed that boss uh, before it existed. Alright, come get a taste. I don't know if one of them is already dead. You know you want it. Just come up here. There we go. I took some damage. I would never dispute this. But I've done so for good intentions. A steam sale? Stop picking up money, we're at 99 cents. It worked. There we go, I actually placed a bomb properly for once. What do we have in here? Two of these, that's good. Um, we have enough money out here to get some other stuff. So we might as well get some other stuff. Let's buy a caffeine pill. Let's buy meats. Let's buy screw. We don't need that. Let's buy spider mod. And then see where we stand after we pick up all this money. Hopefully it doesn't make a liar out of me. 99 cents? 96 cents? Look, it's roughly the same, isn't it? We're splitting hairs here. And then we just stand still. 
let enemies... Oh, there's our 99th cents. Uh, we could have bought more, more hearts in there. I have a feeling it's largely going to be irrelevant, so let's just... Let's just enjoy life here. Walk into the room, stand still. Nothing to fear. Not even fear itself. Come on, get a little closer. Cuba meat can't do everything in this life. Perfect. Perfect. They can't resist. There's no real reason to pick these up, I suppose. All right. Let's shoot a bomb in there. I've made a huge mistake. Let's shoot a bomb in there, then stand still. Let's shoot a bomb in here, and then stand still. Why shoot a bomb in here? I have faith in, in the power of our bombs to carry us. And also do a lot of min-maxing. Or not min-maxing, but uh, damage themselves. Stand closer, Greed. Stand co- Oh, there we go. Your minions have betrayed you, Greed. I want to get closer to him again. Good. Not good. Not good at all. Hearts. Walk into the hearts, turn them into coins that can then be used to fuel your evil empire. I know what people are thinking. NL, don't don't fuck this one up. There's a legitimate chance of that. I'm not gonna blow smoke up your ass. I guess what I should do in the future is stand right next to um Right next to Greed, but in like the middle of the map. Because in the middle of the map, that's probably our best possible chance to uh, have him walk into us, right? Like if we stand like right here. There's no way he's getting by. He's not getting... He pushed us! You freaking dick! No, it's alright. Stay good. Stay good. The bombs don't all need to hit. Stand still. He'll walk this way. I guarantee it. Or something will. He keeps picking up the freaking coins. Oh, there we go. Walk into me when you're not invincible, my dog. Let's have a fair fight, Shoshana. I really thought that we were actually still invincible during that phase. I guess I should try to pick up the coins so he can't pick them up. Oh, Lord. Don't make me hush this one. Stand still. These guys don't bother me. You don't bother me, I don't bother you. Thank God we purchased this one up. Certainly a lot of money around here for Ultra Greed to get- He's getting- He's getting healed from all the coins! My incredibly passive strategy is working against me! Who would have thought? All this time I tried to Henry David Thoreau my way out of the situation. It's proving to be uh, quite the problem. Oh lord, I'm hurting myself more. Okay, well the good news, I guess, is that we get another crack at, uh, at redemption here. Because we can pick up all the coins when we die, we'll respawn. And we respawn with a lot of HP. Okay, so this is take two. And unlike take one, I'm going to try to be less of an idiot. Step one is just stand right next to him and stand still. And then we will freeze him for all of eternity. He will kill us. No, he will kill... He will pick up the coins from his minions that we kill. Heal himself. And as a result, become more powerful than I could possibly comprehend. Yeah, so far so good. We actually have done like almost as much damage to him now as we did on the entire last run this is all right we can we can afford to do this but we have to get the coins before he does most of the coins at least like good god we also need to uh, use uh, our flies more often the flies are extremely pivotal here so greed's eating our coins why by the way are my bombs not sticking to this dude Okay, just go stand right next to him. Yes! Cuba meets! He picks up a few coins. No skin off my scrot. 
We stand still as far as away as we can possibly get. Wait for these guys to all die, or mostly die. Then we grab their coins. Before he got so many of them. We have made an unkillable ultra greed, a titan the likes of which the world has never seen before. The strongest ultra greed in history. And my own bombs continue to betray me. The Benedict Arnolds that they are. I think we will lose this. Not only will we not get to 99 cents, we may well die. Summon some fucking flies. The flies are still valuable. The flies have done nothing wrong. Good. Almost good. Stand still. Did we kill some keys? Better yet, did we kill all the keys? This is fine. We've discovered how we have to shoot. Still quite difficult, I have to be honest with you. Regular coins, no problem. He spawned, he makes us create coins. Oh shit. Yes! Cuba meat! Freeze again. Freeze him again. Freeze him again. Freeze him again. Cuba meat. Cuba meat! Keep walking. Keep walking into me. Yeah, you can't complete your walk cycle animation because I'm blocking your way to the wall, aren't I? Oh, you, you lucky so and so. You don't even know how badly I beat you. Um, I actually was very concerned that we were going to die. Uh, I wouldn't give us great odds of getting all 99 cents donated here, but if we can get to 50, I would be pleased. If we can get our donation machine to like 340, 350, I'd be like thumbs up, positive, good run. I'm kind of surprised we won to begin with. But we did. But we did. And it, we're still at zero. Oh, now we're at 1%. But it might not have been zero, you know, it might have been zero point something, which is a non-ignorable, uh, uh, or an appreciable, I guess, amount to donate. So we've donated more than 50 cents. This is really good. There's 350. Still okay odds of getting all the coins in, but there, yeah, I mean, I spoiled it a little bit, I guess. We've finished. Well, I don't know whether I'm confident enough in saying that, uh, Midas Touch is a great greed mode item, at least for greed, I'll greed the boss specifically. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And for now, I'll see you next time.